Hey guys, welcome to fall. Nice to have you. As you can see, I have my fall attire on and uh, this officially marks the changing of the seasons. So let's do some fall makeup to, you know, celebrate. <laughs> okay, great, let's do this. All right, this is a good angle for me, you guys. You know, I love a close up. So today I'm gonna be using this I Love Sarai and ColourPop collab. I ordered this longer ago than I'd like to admit, and I think I've used it half a time, one half time. So I'm gonna use that, and then I think I'm also gonna use Hourglass Ray. This is their one of their new scattered light shadows, and I talked about it, or maybe I wore it in a video, I don't know, but anyways, it's one of my favorites of their scattered lights, so I'm gonna use that. I'm also going to go in with my, um... oh, that noise was so bad, I hope. <laughs> the microphone picked that up adequately, but I'm gonna use my Fenty eye primer because I'm trying to use it up before it goes bad in my collection, you know? So here we go, putting that all over my eyeballs. Here's the tutorials you guys asked for, but nobody actually watches. Taking my little talon and I'm gonna blend that out. Oh fuck, I feel like there's a bunch of shimmery eyeshadow on my finger. That's just too bad. Okay, let me grab a little, little brush. I'm gonna start with this color right here, this really nice deep plum shade, and I'm gonna grab that on my Smith 253 brush. I'm gonna grab this kind of in a specific way. So if you look at how this brush is shaped, it kind of has like a little bit of that like arrowhead going on. I'm gonna pick this up, okay, on like the very edge of one of the arrowheads. I don't know if you can see it on the brush there. Then I'm gonna press it onto the lid in almost like a wing shape and drag it down to my center lid. Now, where am I going from here? I don't know. <laughs> that was all I had planned. I think I'm gonna grab... Hmm. Then I'm gonna grab my Sigma E27 brush. This is one of my new faves. And I'm going to pick up this shade right here. And we're going to do something with that. Just tapping off the excess. And then I'm just kind of blending that over top of this. And bringing it into the crease as well a little. I kind of did this look the other day where like that uh, wing area was like not as like blended out as normal. I kept it like a little bit more graphic looking and I kind of liked that, so maybe I'll do something similar today. I'm gonna grab this color Nostalgia right here. Nice little dusty rose shade. And grabbing that on the same brush we just used, same style but not the same one because then it would go on really, really red. And I'm gonna put that on in kind of like a little, hmm, crescent shape, I suppose. Hmm, okay. I'm gonna take a little bit of that and use it to kind of buff out this little bit over here. But I'm trying not to take it up too high because we're gonna try and keep that, keep that a little more uh, graphic like I mentioned. We'll see how it turns out. Just jumping back to that original brush with the super dark plum color on it. And I'm just kind of tapping that all on the flow, I can't stop. I'm gonna kind of put that in the crease just a little bit more and I'm just adding extra to our little wing shape to make it nice and dramatic. And then I can pick up my brush we use for the red and pick up a little bit more red and just kind of keep slowly adding that way. I just don't know if this is gonna turn out at this point. All right, so I'm gonna take a little brush. I have my little uh, Hakuhodo J144 brush. Just gonna give it a little spritz like that. I don't need it to be like soaking wet, I just wanted the brush to be a little bit, you know, damp so that it uh, won't have as much fallout when I'm putting on this eyeshadow. By the way, we've switched to Hourglass Ray now and we're ready to go, I mean, head first into this time. Oh, I'm so nervous. Okay. Yeah, this will be all right. Okay. So I'm just applying that first to the center of the lid and then I'm dibble dabbling out towards the uh, inner and outer corners once I have a little bit less on my brush. 
so that uh, this brush basically does the blending for us. And I'm just kind of applying in this weird little shape that we've created here. So I'll put that right in the center of the lid like that. And then I might do something else in a second. Just hold on. This is my plan. I'm gonna take this bad boy right here, this little shimmery red. Reason being, if we look at what we have going on here, very nice. I feel like that red will help kind of blend into this deeper red. Just letting you know how I construct these looks in my mind. I feel like that'll kind of help blend these two because this is a nice shimmer. We've got really, really matte shades over here. That red is more of like a pearl. It's not like a glitter like this is. So I feel like that'll help blend the textures and it'll help blend the colors as well. I'm gonna grab another one of my Smith 253 brushes. I'm gonna pick that up just right, right fucking on the brush. And I'm going to pat that onto the lid and then I can just kind of pull towards my outer corner now hold on don't get crazy I'm gonna pick up my other little brush that we used for that hourglass shade and I'm going to just use that to blend over top to make sure that that red doesn't overpower Ray do you see what I'm saying do you see how this kind of helped make that look See how that kind of helped make that look a little bit more well transitioned? Cool. We're all on the same page. And then lastly, I'm gonna take a, well, hold on. Let me do the other eye first. Hmm. Take a little bit of that in this inner corner area. Now what I'm gonna do is dot kind of back and forth between this shade here and this shade here just to get a little bit of a blend of those two colors on my brush, tap off the excess, and then I can just sort of pat that onto uh, just a little in-between spots. I'm not disliking this look by any means. Hmm. I'm gonna take this shade here and just kind of run it all over my brow bone. Then what I'm gonna do is dot back and forth between this shade here and this shade here to create a little bit of a lighter version of that kind of dusty pink shade. I like to do this every now and again because I feel like uh, sometimes they don't have like the perfect transition color that I'm looking for in a palette, but oftentimes you can make it yourself by mixing them. Maybe I'm gonna grab that on this little brush, my Sigma E36 brush just so that I'm not using too big of a blending brush for these little areas because we're just wanting it to be, you know, just a little blended. So when you're blending, if things start to get, like let's say you take a lighter transition shade and go over top of those shades, if you feel like it kind of took away a little bit of that pigmentation and like intensity, just go back over top with like See this little brush is the brush that I used to blend out those really dark colors. Don't pick up more shadow, just grab that brush and just use that to blend over top. And it'll usually bring back a little bit of that pigmentation without adding way too much product where now you're like gonna be going overboard, if that makes sense. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and then we'll dive back in. Okay, so I put some lashes on, we cleaned it up put a little bit of concealer underneath so that we can do our under eye area. I'm gonna take my little Real Techniques accent brush and this super deep color, tap off the excess real, real good. And then I'm just going to push that onto that outer corner. I'm not really like doing intense swiping motions because I don't want to create a ton of fallout because this color is so dark. I'll take a little bit of that red color we used and uh, press that onto this side. Maybe a little on that side too, I don't know. And then I'm gonna grab, uh, I'll just use this color Muse instead of going in with the uh, hourglass thing. And I'm just gonna grab that on a little smudger brush, uh, Sigma E21. And I'm gonna add that right to the center. Oh, that's so much more coppery, god damn it. Well, whatever, too late now, guys. Uh, I'm adding that right to the center of my uh, 
lower lash line, just to kind of mimic what we have going on up here. Made a huge mistake with that shade. Lastly, I'm gonna take a little blending brush. Mm, what am I gonna do here? Yeah, I'm gonna dot back and forth between this one and this one. And we're just going to blend over top. I got that followed anyways, guys. We're blending over top of those uh, colors just to make them a little bit softer. Cool. Let's move on, shall we? For our face, I'm going to mix an exorbitant amount of things together and no one's gonna judge me, okay? I'm gonna mix the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, the Fenty Beauty thing, hydrating foundation, and then a little bit, just a drop, of the Natasha Denona Foundation X. And then I'm going to mix all of that with a moisturizer. So it's gonna be like 50% foundation, these three, 50% moisturizer. I'm not crazy. There is method to my madness. When I'm mixing up foundations, I do like the smallest little baby amount. If you can see here, that's all of the three foundations and the moisturizer mixed. You don't wanna do like huge pumps of everything and waste your product. And that's a life lesson from me. I'm just gonna do a quick little spot conceal of a few places that need it. And then I can take my little beauty blender and I'm just going to start uh, dotting this all over my face. I'm gonna focus most of the uh, coverage right in the center of my face. And then kind of once we have a little bit less product on our beauty blender, we can start stippling towards the outer corners. I don't know, man, I'm feeling this mix. I know you think I'm a crazy person, but I'm not. It's just the best way to go about things. And as you can see, that's all the foundation we needed. We used it all up, we didn't waste anything. That's the, uh, that's the way to do it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna set my under eyes with my Hourglass Veil Powder and my little Smith 131 brush. Tapping off the excess and then just pressing that underneath my eye. I like to wait until my under eyes are set before I go in and do my bottom lash mascara, if I'm going to do bottom lash mascara, just so that uh, it doesn't transfer onto my wet concealer. Okay, I'm digging it, I'm enjoying this. Maybe I'll put a little bit of an inner corner highlight on just for shits. Uh, I'm gonna grab this shade right there on a little baby brush, and I'm just gonna pick up a tiny amount of that and dot that into my inner corner. There we go. Let's finish up the rest of the face. Some glitter on my boob and I'm not gonna be able to get it off. Okay, I'm gonna grab my Milk Baked Bronzer and I'm going to grab my legendary ELF 105 brush and I'm going to press that just into my cheekbones there and then kind of blend upwards in little circular motions. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more product and I can take that around my temple and blend towards my forehead and then back down into that cheek contour slash bronzer. And then if you ever go overboard with that, you can take the remnants of your Beauty Blender foundation and just kind of uh, use that to blend out any weird little patches. Then I think I'm gonna put on just a wee bit of blush throwing that shit all over the place. Uh, I'm gonna take my Keir Weiss blush in Desired Glow, and I'm going to take that on a different ELF 105 brush and just stipple that onto my cheeks. I'm getting a little bit back into blush. I kind of took a hiatus there for a bit. I had had enough of the blush game, but now I think I'm back in it and better than ever. What do I want to do for my, ugh, do I even want to put on a highlight? I don't know who I am anymore. That's the truth. I might just leave it, man. What should I do for my lips here? Dude, oh wow, I have to tell you guys this before we move on. I know I've bitched about this before, but I'm gonna bitch about it once more. That Fenty lip balm, I love it. It makes my lips look great. It feels lovely when it's on. That shit fucks my lips right up. <laughs> like, I don't know. I've never had something dry out my lips quite like that. It's like, 
it makes them shrivel inwards. Like it is the weirdest thing. And then it takes like a full week minimum to come back from it. Like if I've used it over and over again kind of thing, which I had carried it with me this weekend and I was like out of town and I used it constantly that whole weekend. And then after I came back, my lips were like, like it was just, ugh, it's, it's a mess. So I've been trying to like use it up. <laughs> But I think it's time for me to just let that go because it truly destroys my lips in a way that I would have never imagined. Ooh, maybe I'll use this thing. Hmm. Hmm, it's a little more pink than I wanted it to be. I bought these uh, lipsticks from Linda Hallberg before my no-buy. Okay, our no-buy. And uh, if you don't know who Linda Hallberg is, she's a real gem. Her Instagram is stunning. She is truly like one of the greatest makeup artists of like our generation, in my humble opinion. She just does such fantastic work and she has a makeup line of her own, which is awesome. I was like full on creeping, not like taking a glance. Like I was really, really invested. I probably spent over an hour on her page. Okay. And I was going through all her photos, looking at how luscious her lips looked. And I was like, first of all, she probably doesn't use the Fenty Balm, just throwing it out there. Secondly, what lipstick is that? And it was all her lipsticks. So I purchased a couple. I got uh, the shade Famous, which is a nice kind of like, they're all sheer, which is just right up my alley. But I like this one. It's kind of more of like a brown tone nude, which is really beautiful. And then I got Pink Opal, which is more of like a true pinky shade. And then I also got this random wild card called I Die because I saw her wear it in a photo and I was like, that's for me. But am I gonna wear it? I mean, yeah, I will try. Let's put on a little lip pencil, shall we? I'm gonna grab uh, my Bite lip pencil in shade 36. Oh boy, I'm gonna sharpen it. To a nice fine point. Okay, so I just mixed Pink Opal and Famous on my lips there from Linda Hallberg. And then I'm gonna take my Bite Pencil and just, just go on and line my lips a little. I'd just like to say that I, first of all, that matches perfectly with that blend of colors, bizarre. Secondly, I'd like a pat on the back for using this lip liner. Okay, I'm sticking to my guns. I'm gonna start using lip liner. This is the new me. New year, new me. That's a nice combo. Wow, my eyebrows really need to get done here. I'm gonna go off camera, put my eyebrows on, come back, and then bid you adieu. All right, you guys, that is the final look. Our nice fall ensemble on our eyes, you know? Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little something something. Probably not. I feel like we're at a point where we're probably on the same skill level, you know what I mean? We know the same shit. Ride in the same circles. Okay, so anyways, that's it. See you guys next time. Goodbye. Peace out.